Hi, today I'm going to explain everything you need to know about berberin. Welcome to Advice from the Pharmacist. My name is Dr. Amy, and I'm happy to share with you today. First, I'm going to talk about what berberin is, then I'll tell you how to use it, and lastly, I'll go over important precautions and warnings you need to know about this supplement. So please stick around till the end of the video. I would hate for you to miss out on this important information. Also, if you like my video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Okay, so let's get to work. What is berberin? Berberin is a natural alkaloid that comes from different plant parts. And this is a naturally occurring organic compound. And what does alkaloid mean? Alkaloid is just a uh, basic chemical. So you already know basic chemicals like baking soda. Baking soda is a common um, basic compound that we use all the time at home. So this plant and family of plants has been used for a really long time. One of the most commonly known is the European barberry, the Berberis vulgaris, that I have a photo of featured on the slide. We'll talk a little bit about the history of the barberry plant. And another plant that is rich in berberin is the hydrastis canadensis, and it's more commonly known as golden seal. So this plant was used by the Cherokee Nation long before the European settlers, and they were the ones who initially educated those settlers about its properties and how they used it. Uh, the roots of these plants can be used for dyeing things like fabric, and it's also taken as an internal remedy. Uh, traditionally, it was used every spring as a blood purifier, and it's also been used as a mouthwash and an eye wash. Uh, the Cherokee Nation, as well as others, have used it as a tonic uh, for a variety of conditions that affect the liver and gallbladder. These plants have also been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicine, and more recently, the berberin chemical, the alkaloid, was isolated and prepared so that it could be researched and studied by itself. So why is berberin so exciting? Um, what, what does it do? There have been a lot of research put into this particular chemical. Um, it has effects on your GI system and it can improve the flow of bile. And research has shown us that it can lower blood sugar. Um, in fact, there were studies uh, using berberin in people with diabetes that found it had multiple benefits on lowering blood glucose and improving lipid me metabolism. So naturally derived berberin is provided as berberin hydrochloride, and this is the best studied form that we have out there. Uh, a second in vitro study uh, found that berberin compared to metformin and troglitazone, which is another medication we use to lower blood sugar in people with diabetes, it produced a similar reduction in sugar by uh, preventing the glucose uptake by liver cells. So a third study found that berberin also increased glucose uptake by adipocytes. These are your fat cells. And it was believed that these actions are all through berberin's ability to activate AMPK. All right, so how does it work? Let's talk a little bit in detail about AMPK. AMPK is short for adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase. And basically it's an important enzyme that senses fuel levels and it helps turn on energy processes like fatty acid oxidation and causes the glucose uptake by cells. And we know through research that Berberine has its effects by activating this AMPK enzyme. Now, there are a lot of other things that can also activate AMPK, uh, such as exercise, 
So it's another good reason to make sure you're staying active and healthy and having movement as part of your life. There are hormones in the body that also turn on and stimulate AMP kinase. And it's also other natural products besides berberin, like alpha lipoic acid, have been found to stimulate this enzyme. And as you can see here on the left, we have a very large group of medications that all target this same pathway, like metformin, which is commonly used for diabetic patients to decrease their blood sugar. So there was one study that showed that berberin was able to reverse insulin resistance in fat cells and improve the insulin signaling pathways in muscle cells through this activation of AMPK. So without AMPK, we are at risk for things like weight gain, chronic inflammation, uh, insulin resistance, and high cholesterol. So you can see there's a lot of important reasons why AMPK has been the focus of research and is a target for drugs. By now, I hope you can see why AMPK is so important. It is a essential part of our body's energy processes and when it's activated, it makes it easier for our cells to burn fat. It also gives cells the energy so that they can clean out toxins and junks from the cells and that will reduce your inflammation and help protect you from oxidative stress. Uh, unfortunately, AMPK, like many other things, decline as we age. And there's some research that also found in a 2011 study that increases in chronic inflammation, so long-term chronic inflammation, can actually suppress AMPK activity. And that can disrupt this process and lead to age-related uh, metabolic disease and neurodegeneration. What are some of the potential benefits of berberin? It can help with burning abdominal fat. It will reduce inflammation in the body. It increases the production of mitochondria. Remember that mitochondria are the powerhouses that make energy in the cells. It acts as an antioxidant. And again, it helps by increasing cell energy so that the cells can clear out all of the junk and toxins. So overall, you get improved metabolism from taking this supplement. There are other ways to activate AMPK uh, besides just berberin. It's found in many foods. Uh, it can be found in protein-rich things like meat and eggs. It's also found in foods like chili peppers coffee. I'm a big fan of coffee, uh, tea, and cacao. Now that you've learned about berberin and why it's important and how it works, how much of it do you need to get benefits? So berberin can be found as a 500 milligram capsule and the suggested starting dose for this supplement is one capsule two to three times daily. Finally, we're getting to the end of the video. Uh, before I go today, I want to be sure to share with you a few cautions and warnings about berberin. Uh, berberin should not be used by anyone trying to conceive or currently pregnant. And high doses of berberin can interact with the prescription drug cyclosporin. So as always, before starting a new supplement or vitamin, make sure you speak with your doctor or pharmacist so you can be confident that this is safe for you to use before you get started. Um, furthermore, these plants have been over-cultivated in the wild and some of them are even on the endangered species status. So please don't go out tromping through the woods trying to collect your own berberin and make your own tea. Um, the roots have a really high market value. So there are a lot of products out there on the market that are contaminated or don't even have the right plant ingredients to be effective. So make sure you carefully choose your source of supplements and that you're only using companies that have high standards for their manufacturing and quality control for their products. 
Personally, I choose to use Fullscript when recommending products for my patients because I know they only carry professional grade supplements that are made with high standards and ethics. Uh, I will put the link for my dispensary in the comments below. If you're interested, please check it out. And if you order through my link, you get 10% off your purchase. Uh, Fullscript will ship straight to your home, so it's really convenient and easy to use. Thank you for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, leave your comments below if you have any questions or topics that you would like me to be covered. I'm happy to get back to you as soon as possible. And I will also include a link for my free anti-inflammation guide. Inside the guide, there are seven steps on how you can reduce your inflammation and start improving your health right away. Once again, my name is Dr. Amy, and I wish you good health.